Hello first timers, up for review is the Viltrox LED camera light. There's the product and it comes with this attachment. It allows you to loosen up this screw so you can adjust it and tilt it in infinite increments. It's currently attached to a Fugitech selfie stick which is attached to a Yuntang tripod. Those do not come with the product but the product, that the items you get is the light and the attachment. Here's the back of the light. You have your on off switch and you have your adjustment switch which allows you to adjust the brightness and the color or temperature of the light. It gives you an option to power it with a 12 volt DC adapter. It does not come with the product or you can use a battery to power it up which in this case we're going to use this battery. I'm not sure what I can't remember the product number or description of this battery but that is what we're going to use it goes right in here so there it is with the battery on it also quickly this is the packaging that came with it and that's a label inside that's the box and that's basically it before we do our comparison test I want to show you real quick how it works Here's the on-off switch. You turn it on. It's currently at 20% brightness at 3300K. That's the temperature or color and you have your battery indicator there. So at 20% you can bring it up all the way to 100% and 3300K you can bring it up all the way to 5600K. And now we'll, you turn this knob. It increases the brightness. You push the knob it switches to temperature or color and it, you can change it all the way to 5600k now we are at 20 percent brightness at 3300k temperature i'm going to bring the brightness up to 60 percent right there and 100 percent i noticed that there's not much difference from 100%. There's not much difference on the brightness from 100% right there until 60%. 60% to 100%, not much difference. I don't see any difference in the brightness, but 60% and it goes down to 20%. Now let's check the. Uh, I'll set it to 60% brightness. Then we'll check the temperature color. That's 3300K. That's 4200K. That's 5200K. That's 5600K. Definitely the color changes throughout the whole range from 3300 to 5600K. For comparison purposes, we are going to use this newer LED light, which is only available in 5600K color. Uh, intensity can be adjusted, but the color is permanent. You cannot adjust the color. We'll compare, we'll compare color between these two and brightness as well. Right now it is in its lowest brightness setting. So you can see 20% is still very bright for the Viltrox and the newer gives you a lot less light at its lowest setting. That has a certain advantage if you need less lighting. You can't reduce this anymore as it is, that's 20%. 50% brightness, that's how it looks. 50% brightness, almost the same right now. 100% brightness from both somehow well the newer looks like it's brighter but this one cast a broader light this one is a more concentrated light because of the size this one is has a bigger face so it's more spread out but that's how it is at 100% brightness So there you have it. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Will I keep it? Yes, I will. 
the only problem I have is from 60% to 100% the brightness did not make any difference maybe it will be different if it's powered by a DC source which is a 12 volt adapter option that you can use to power it with but I wish it would have more range and brightness from 60% to 100% well that's a problem if I'm using a battery uh, compared to the newer it's got better range but the newer temperature cannot be adjusted this one can be adjusted and it's got a uh, it, it casts a broader light so it spreads out a lot better than the newer the newer I have to move back a little bit from my subject so I can cast a more spread out lighting this one I can have it a lot little closer and it will cast a, uh, a, a broader light would I rather have two of the newer or two of the Viltrox no I would rather have one of each for different purpose there you have it thank you first timers See you in the next review.